just started praying. Seriously, um, we started just asking God just to keep our family unit safe. Residents near Wasaki in central Marinette County worked to pick up the pieces. This after a confirmed EF1 tornado tore a path of destruction through the area last night. That storm killed one man. It also left hundreds without power. And while the tornado was relatively weak, it has left an emotional toll on many residents. The hardest hit area in Marinette County is in the community of Wasaki. Fox 11's Beth Jones checked out the damage today and talked with those who feel lucky to be alive. This pile of debris is all that remains of a three-bedroom mobile home. The occupant, 43-year-old Douglas Brem, was killed after a tornado leveled the structure. I don't have my friend anymore. <laughs> His good friend, Amber Schwitty, is still struggling with the news. She says she spoke with Brem shortly before the storm hit. He called me and said, I got your hot water tank in because he was fixing the trailer up for me and my kids. And he's like, I'm using your hot water tank first. And I said, go ahead. And he's like, I'll call you in a half an hour. And he never called me. <laughs> Bram's dog, Roxy, surprisingly survived the storm. And just a few yards away, others walked away unscathed. But their homes did not. Renter Tammy Weeding showed us the damage from the inside. This is the room where uh, I sent him. <laughs> And he would have sat right here where that stick is. She says she heard the trees cracking outside. That's when she grabbed her kids and headed for safety in her bathroom. We just started praying. Seriously, um, we started just asking God just to keep our family unit safe. Um, and then when we found out about the gentleman up the hill, um, it really hit home. The tornado uprooted trees and snapped power lines, leaving 2,000 people without power overnight. There was absolutely no warning to nothing. It just came and came fast. Residents say they did not hear any sirens, and emergency management officials say they're looking for answers. It doesn't appear or nothing was logged into the CAD system that the sirens are activated. One of the areas that I would tend to believe is that it came on so quickly that the activation wasn't possible. Despite little warning and one fatality, officials say this could have been a lot worse. Next weekend is their county fair in Wasaki. Can you imagine if something like that would hit there uh, with campers all around and those amusement rides going away? Could have been much worse, but I'm not trying to downplay the loss of life here whatsoever. This is a tragedy and it's most unfortunate, but uh, you know, could have been worse. And while Amber Schwitty copes with the loss of a friend, she says she now has a new one. Oh, oh. We'll help her pick back up the pieces. Plan on taking care of Roxy? Oh yeah, she ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Staying with me, <laughs> he would have wanted that. <laughs> In Wasaki, Beth Jones, Fox 11 News. Wisconsin public service officials were out all day to restore power to the affected residents there. Tonight, only a few homes remain without power. Governor Scott Walker's spokesperson tells Fox 11 the governor plans to survey the damage Sunday afternoon.